Now to last night's debate between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and California Governor Gavin Newsom, a red state, blue state showdown. Chief Washington correspondent John Carl here with the highlights. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. Yes, it was billed as the red state versus blue state debate. The Republican governor of Florida facing off against the Democratic governor of California. A preview, perhaps, of some of the issues, if not the candidates, we could see debated in next year's general election campaign. Right at the start of the debate, California Governor Gavin Newsom, who isn't running for president, taunted Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is running but trailing badly, with a reminder that neither of them would likely be on the ballot next fall. There's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. The debate was, however, something of a foreshadowing of the case Republicans will bring against President Biden. People used to be able to work hard and get ahead. That is not true under Joe Biden. And the kind of defense Democrats can offer of what Newsom called Bidenomics. 3.9 percent unemployment, the lowest black unemployment in American history, the lowest unemployment for Hispanics in American history, the lowest unemployment for women in 70 years, the lowest black poverty rates in history. For DeSantis, it was a chance to try to inject some energy into a campaign that badly needs it, as Newsom gleefully pointed out. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games, to try to get some news and attention so you can out Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. Less than a year ago, DeSantis was leading Donald Trump in polls of Republican voters, but he has been losing ground for months, now trailing Nikki Haley. No one will outwork me in this race. And this has been a big week for Haley. She won the endorsement of perhaps the most well-funded conservative grassroots organization in the U.S., Americans for Prosperity. But the reality is that Donald Trump, who has refused to debate anybody in this race, still has a commanding lead over both Haley and DeSantis, at least for now. Although, George, that lead is smaller in Iowa and New Hampshire, which vote first. And Trump does face a reinstated gag order. Uh, he does. The judge in New York, a, a panel of judges, reinstated a limited gag order. Uh, this just prevents him from attacking employees of the court. While, that ga while the gag order had been suspended, he had gone after, in very personal terms, the clerk of the court. He had also gone after the judge's family. This limited gag order, by the way, doesn't prevent him from going after family members or anybody else, just employees of the court. He went after the family with false claims. False claims with family. And by the way, that clerk had received dozens of threatening phone calls to her cell phone and also uh, via uh, social media and to her email. So she was facing real threats as a result of those attacks. John Carl, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.